Commanders of the Nigeria Army have invaded and arrested youth in two communities in the Okanu East and Okanu West local government areas of Enugu State for allegedly attacking and sending away S men and their cows from the areas. Sahara reporters learned that there is an easy calm in the Epofu and Apugu areas in Nkanum East and Nkanum West local government area where the military personnel arrested the youth and are still combing for more arrests. Villagers who spoke from their hiding on Thursday lamented that they could not find some of their relations and wards who were believed to have been abducted by the military personnel. They feared that the continuous arrest might not be unconnected with the recent sacking of S-men who were terrorizing the area. Some also believe that the invasion could be the directive of the presidency to secure Riti agencies to hunt down Biafran agitators in the southeast region. Community sources said the soldiers invaded Ekpofu on Wednesday and whisked away some youth to unknown destinations, the source said. Soldiers numbering over 100 stormed a Bofo community in Nkano East around 7.30 p.m. on Wednesday. They moved from place to place, ransacking houses. Before then, they had blocked major roads leading to the community before swooping on the residents. He said, I don't know how many people were abducted yesterday. They were looking for our youth, but many of them had run away. The source also noted that the Soldiers returned on Thursday with policemen and personnel of the Department of State Services and blocked all access roads leading to the community. Another community source said the soldiers also invaded Ndiago, Akbugu community and raised some houses. They went to the house belonging to a man popularly known as a Bebia at Uguagba in Idiago, Akbugu. They didn't see anyone. So the soldiers set the house ablaze. <laughs> As I am speaking to you, our young men have run away and some members of the community are relocating to the state capital for fear for their lives, he added. The traditional ruler of a Adamugu Akpofu community, Igwe Christopher Namani, who resides in the Enugu metropolis, said he received several phone calls from his subjects informing him to the informing him of the invasion i am on my way to my palace come there so i can see who i am speaking with i wouldn't like to speak with someone i have never i have not i've never seen on the telephone he said the deputy director army public relations 82 division enugu kone, kone abubaka abdullahi declined comments when contacted on the incident he also did not respond to text messages as of the time of filing this report. The state police public relations officer, Dane Ndukwe, when contacted on the telephone, also declined comments. He later switched off his phone. <laughs> oh my God, they will tell you that uh, they were in a meeting, that they were attending to some other issues. That is what they are, you are going to be hearing from them. So guys, it is what it is now. <laughs> Where do we go from here? It is clear. It is very, very clear. But they can't arrest and tackle the s men that expelled forced villages from their ancestral land. Who do us this for this country? Now, wow. So youth cannot defend their villages again in this zoo. They are trying to cage us. You guys go work tire for this country. 21st century, some people still behave like idiots. I like I Akugo boys. Southerners here shouting, come 2023 this, come 2023 that. Are we really ready to go as a petty as they do? Remember, they were using even underage kids to vote. Can we really get that petty? Besides, how are we sure our southern vote won't be rigged and pass as theirs? All this noise isn't worth it. Simply try and do something underground. Things like catch and reduce. If you know what I mean. <laughs> uh, it's quite unfortunate that we didn't have leader in Igbo land. Nnamdi Kanu is the only one we have and we must not allow any arm to before him. If anything happened to him, then we are finished. 
it's the politicians you don't want to spare them just anybody who has already joined the politics or is a politician definitely you don't expect the person to speak against the government they will never speak and ask what they are getting nothing some of them are on the waiting list to be to be checked in so that they will continue to gain that is the hope of some of the people who are talking as far as we are concerned a lot of people are even afraid some people who really have a no what has been happening they don't have a that's a political way to speak if they speak you should know what a uh, uh, goes that uh, what's what 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 awaits them so that is just the way it is but instead of them to keep quiet no they won't keep quiet they will come out and begin to make matter worse i mean those uh, leaders well the that is the only achievement of this uh, janjawi government we are not deterred in our ambition we will free Namde Kano and get back our Biafra by the grace of God. This is the first time I am seeing a president forcing his ethnic agenda on the Nigerian people using the instruments of the state. Nigeria army is now fighting for civilians against civilians. Nigeria army has already become a ragtag army full of miscreants and thugs. Because they are the S-men in uniform, God will judge them. This is one Nigeria for you and Nigeria to save lives. What exactly is happening in this country? And we have people that we call elite governors and the rest of them. This is a, a confirmation of what uh, Sheikh Ahmad Gumi um, said that they have, the, they have the backing of the military. This Nigeria army huh, come get better work to do again than to run after Katsu and be protecting Katu. What a joke of a nation. All they are doing is to provoke us into war, and that's what we consume them. I am even blaming the youth for being foolish to allow such a thing to happen to them. What would they have done? <laughs> what would they have done? Is it in the law for soldiers to arrest civilians? I don't understand. That is why Boko Haram and bandits will continue to kill them in the north. Not as everything except since, according to Sultan of Sugutu, Su, uh, Sultan of Sugutu Abubakar. My question is, those people in the army for 30,000 Naira a month are uh, from Enugu State. How do they react to such news? They are quick to respond when it is not in favor of the Fulani S-men. But never respond when the people of the communities are being slaughtered like a chicken. So guys, let's say your opinion on this matter.